Hey there, this is author, illustrator, Jarrett Lerner, and I'm here to read to you the first few poems from my illustrated novel in verse, A Work in Progress. I always think back to fourth grade. I was minding my business, hanging out in the hallway with Dave and Andrew and Devin when I felt a tap on my shoulder. I turned around and saw a kid, Nick Fisher, standing there. Nick was in my grade and small for his age. In fourth grade, he looked more like a third grader or even a second grader. And I don't know if it was because of that or because of something else he had going on in his life, but he always went around already halfway to angry. He was the kind of kid who'd snap at you for no reason if you just looked at him the wrong way on the wrong day. All of which is why I was kind of worried when I turned around and saw it was Nick who tapped me. That and the fact that he was already scowling. I knew right then that whatever his reason for getting my attention, it couldn't be good. You're fat, Nick said. No, 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 he spat it that word. He spat it at me like it was the worst one he knew, like I'd committed a crime and he wanted to make sure I knew I was guilty. You're fat, Nick said, and the whole entire hallway fell silent. Everyone was looking. Everyone was listening. And then he said it again. You're fat, and everyone thinks it. At first, I was too stunned to do a thing. My brain was racing, my heart pounding, but the rest of me, frozen, stiff. All I could do was stare at the shark showing off its teeth on Nick's t-shirt. Then Dave, he set a hand on my shoulder and whispered, Will. And for whatever reason, that broke the spell. And then I got out of there as fast as I could. I fled. Something like that happens to you? Something like what happened to me in that hallway with Nick Fisher in fourth grade? And it never leaves your head. It's in there, forever, permanently. The memory might as well be tattooed on your brain. It'll replay again and again and again and again. On bad days, of course, but on good days too on days that had been good, until, bam. It sneaks up on you. It just pops out, out of the blue. And it's not long before you don't even need the Nick Fishers of the world to be there to tell you what they think of you, what the whole entire world thinks of you, that you are less than, you are inferior, you are an animal not worthy of kindness or consideration or respect, Soon enough, you take care of saying all that for them. You start thinking just like they do. You start hurling the insults at yourself. You become your own bully. And you do the job better than anyone else possibly could. So those are the first few poems of my illustrated, illustrated novel in verse, A Work in Progress. I hope hearing them got you curious to read the rest of the book and learn the rest of Will's story. And I hope if you do read the book, it encourages and inspires and challenges you to think differently about yourself and the people around you, and also to think differently about the words you use with the other people around you, to the other people around you, and also to yourself about yourself. I also hope that getting this peek into Will's private notebook, his poems, his drawings, his doodles, his thoughts, his scribbles, his worries, his fears, his hopes, I hope getting this private, intimate glimpse of his journey perhaps inspires you to get a notebook of your own and put down your thoughts and your fears and your worries and your hopes and your dreams and draw. I think there's a great deal of power and importance 
in putting our story down on paper, finding the words and drawings to express ourselves. I think that alone is a powerful and important act. And if you're so compelled, once you've done that, to share your story with the people in your life or with the whole world, I hope you go and take that step too, because it can be a very important, powerful thing um, and positive thing. So thank you for listening to me read and hearing my thoughts and hopes for the book and for you. And um, if you do read it, thank you. And I hope you enjoy it very much. Mm-hmm.